Welcome in the last section of this tutorial about implementing different biomes. There is a great article called Autobiomes, Procedural Generation of Multibiome Landscape. We have this uh, chart which shows us basically that we can uh, split our grid of chunks into our chunks basically, but also we can split it into biomes by simply creating a less granular grid and calculating some climate stats, some climate simulation. So for example, we can say that we are calculating some temperature based on the different uh, points on our less granular grid. And basically this is what we are going to do. The temperature of course will be our noise value that we are going to calculate. And based on this, we are going to say that those are our climate stats. And based of the, on this temperature or this noise value, we are going to select the biome that fits the cr criteria that we set for it. We can also visit Wikipedia typing biome, and we are going to find this chart here. This shows us based on some climate stats, so we can see that the, this is the temperature, and this is precipitation, so I believe this is just the... Uh, how much rain falls down in this area and based on this we can select what type of biome do we want to generate based on those conditions and i think that minecraft uses something uh, similar to create its own biomes both of the articles will be attached in the description of this video the basic idea here is that we have three steps to make first is those blue lines uh, that are depicting the centers of our biomes and basically what we are going to do is based on the player position we are going to calculate in 80 directions the biome centers around the player we are going to add some offsets so that we can uh, kind of create a more interesting looking uh, landscape and then for each of those inner centers we are going to calculate uh, one more level of those centers so that we can have a better understanding what is going on there and how can we uh, populate those tiles that are between this one and for example this one so here we are going to have consistent biome if we have this next thing that we will need to have is the value the noise value or the temperature value if you want to call it this way for our biome center so based on the this value we are going to say which center is in what type of biome and this will give us the possibility to create uh, in accordance the uh, process that column chunk based on what is the type of the biome and later on to connect it kind of to have this uh, line connecting those biomes instead of going uh, with with a straight line to the next biome we are going to use domain warping to kind of calculate the distance between each biome and the value and then we are going to create a very simple algorithm to say what is the range of this biome, this green biome, and what is the range of this desert biome, and how we can create this kind of nice looking connections between those biomes. Okay, so first stop is creating those centers of our biomes. Okay, back in our project. First thing that we are going to create is a script that will help us to generate eight points in eight directions around the point that we give this so we are going to go to our scripts folder right click create a c sharp script and i'm going to call it biome center finder okay let's open this script up in visual studio great we can make it into a static class since we are only going to use it for the biomes generation and first thing that we are going to do is we are going to create a very simple list so let's delete the mono behavior inheritance delete the start and update and we will have uh, we will need to have a list of directions so i have decided to create a public static list of vector to int neighbors eight directions equals new list of vector to int and i have populated with all the directions so all eight directions 0 1 1 1 1 0 and so on so that we can generate our eight points around the player uh, for our terrain generation next we are going to need a method that will calculate our biome centers so this will be a pretty long method what we are going to have here is a public static list of vector 3 int method called calculate biome centers we are going to give it a vector 3 player position 
which is basically the center of our world because we are going to generate our world around our player and when we are moving our player the world needs to be generated around the player we are going to get int draw range and we are going to get map size as an int value now draw range and map size are just values from our world class so those are the uh, chunk size and chunk drawing range and based on those values we are going to calculate the biome length so as you might recall our terrain was drawn uh, using this range in each direction so basically our biome range is one fourth of the terrain so this will be the basic biome size and based on this we are going to later on modify it so that we can get a bit better looking terrain so this will be the biome length next we are going to have a vector 3 origin uh, this will be vector 3 int origin equals new vector 3 int and we are going to populate it with int values using mathf.round to int for x and for z value so if we are on position 1 divided by uh, biome length which is uh, about 120 or something like this times biome length this will give us zero so we are going to calculate the player position in biome grid which is uh, much less granular and this same thing we are going to do with z value and for y we are going to set zero we're going to have a hash set of vector three ins biome center temps uh, and this will be a hash set since we may encounter the same position added a couple of times to the uh, list so instead of list we are going to create a hash set to avoid duplicates we are going to add the origin and next we are going to look for each vector to int offset x y in our, inside our neighbors eight directions and in kind of tricky way calculate all the points so we have four points here four vector three ints which will be equal and we are going to take origin x and origin z and 0 as y as base next we are going to get the offset x and z x add to all of those and offset x z y add to all of those and next we are going to either multiply it by biome length or two times biome length and on the other side we are going to calculate this uh, in a different way so first point will be times biome length Second point will be x times biome length and z times 2 times biome length. Third point will be 2 times biome length on x and 1 time biome length on z. And the last one will be 2 times biome length on both x and z. Now, just to elaborate on this, if we have this point 0, 1, we are going to calculate the first point up, so on z value, and the second point because on x we have 0. So we're going to basically take two times those points. If we go back and we have now one and one, let's go to our map. Okay. So for one and one, we are going to calculate the biome lengths. So this will be this point on the diagonal axis. We are going to add two to this. So we're going to take this point. We are going to add two to this. We are going to take this point. And we are going to add two to both. So we are going to get this point. Next, we are going to take this point. So we're going to take two times this, those points. Next, we're going to take those points uh, in the lower uh, right quadrant. Next, uh, we are going to get those uh, below. So on the Z minus Z axis. Next, on the lower uh, left quadrant. And next to the left. And next to in this upper left quadrant and next uh, i think this will be it so basically this is a trick way to get all of those positions i am quite sure that you can figure out a way to calculate this using two for loops but basically those four points will calculate for us all of the points that we need using this biome length and we are going to always add this to our hash set and thanks to the hash set we are never going to get any duplicates so with this done, we are going to basically return those points. So those will be the centers for the current uh, centers of the biomes for the current location of our player. Now let's file and save all because we will, are going to need to use this somewhere. So let's go back to Unity. And to use this, we are going to open our terrain generator since this is basically responsible for selecting the biome. So let's select the ter ter terrain generator script those three dots and edit the script we haven't added a lot to this class 
So let's create a new method public void generate by on points. Okay, and we are going to take in the vector three player position int and this will be draw range and int which will be map size which are all of the parameters that we need to add to give to our biome center finder static class and last thing will be vector 2 int and this will be our map seed offset okay and in this method we are going to calculate anything that we need uh, to generate our biomes so to calculate our biomes and display it, uh, we are going to create at the top here a serialized field list of vector3 int biome centers equals new list. Okay, with this we are going to go to our generate biome points and we are going to call biome centers equals new list to reset it. And we are going to populate it by calling biome centers equals our biome center finder dot calculate biome centers and we are going to pass the player position the draw range and the map size so those will be the parameters of our biome centers and next thing that we are going to need is an on draw gizmos method that will simply set the color of the gizmos to be color blue and for each var uh, biome center point in biome centers we are going to draw a line inside the biome center point and we are going to draw a line uh, towards the up there in the up direction Calling a biome center point plus vector 3 dot up times 255 just to draw a long line in the y direction. Okay, but we still do not uh, call this uh, generate biome points method anywhere. So let's copy this and we are going to go to our world script. So let's go back to Unity. Okay, let's select the world, open the world script. So we are at the top of this class. We are going to slide down where we have our generate world async method and when we are going to calculate the world generation data before that we're going to call our terrain generator dot generate biome points and we have been given the position here so we are going to assume that this position is the player position next we are call uh, we are going to give this chunk drawing range then map size as the map size and vec uh, we should have map seed offset as the offset. Now map size doesn't work because we have our chunk size instead. So let's select a chunk size. Okay, so we are going to, every time we generate our world, recalculate the biome points and uh, use onro gizmos to put them on our map. Let's file and save all and let's go back to Unity. Okay, let's press play. Let's regenerate it. And as you can see, we have our uh, biomes generated. Now, our player, I think, is a, in a bit uh, a different position than our biome center. Let's move to it. And as you can see, this should be around 0, 0. Here is our first line. This is the center of our biome near our player. One more thing that we can do is add the main warping to move those biome centers a bit to have a bit more interesting looking biome. Uh, centers instead of having all of those in one line but that's what we can do in the next video okay and there in the next video as well we are going to start working on adding a new biome uh, which will be the desert biome okay see you in the next video